Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm Soma from Decreto. Today in this video, I'll show you how to make text typing effect using Elementor free version and also paid version. I'll show you the two steps with using only free plugins or using Elementor Pro plugins. So here in this video, we're gonna learn this whole process with step by step. So let's start the video. So here as you can see that here is only the decreto to like the, the text and the blue text is now auto typing effect. You can also control the speeds, animation, everything. Also, I'll show you how to do that everything. So this is the free plugins. As you, as you can see that here is the happening in the auto typing text. This is only using free plugins. If I'm showing in the Elementor uh, or press dashboard. So here you can see the Elementor Pro is you now deactivated, also, but it is working fine. So that's because of the essential add-ons for Elementor, this plugin. This plugin helped me to create this auto typing effect. So let's move on the video and I will delete all this type, type, type typing effect using Elementor essential add-ons. Then I will show you from scratch. So let's delete this. Also let's delete this. And it is working now fine. But we don't, don't know how to delete this. I am going to update this page. And if I now refresh this page so it will nothing so now we have to place one heading as usual so we have to place the heading here now we have to place two heading because the that's make to make to a line auto that's why it is parallelly the two headings are equally parallels that's why you have to place the two headings so i'm placing one more setting like that and then if i'm writing like anything text and then go to the style tab to customize i'm giving it to black color at first then typography make it to province font as well and then size will be giving it 50 pixel weight will be 800 and transform will be uppercase no no it's looking fine and the most important thing we have to make to go to the advanced and width will be inline auto i'll tell you how why i'm giving the inline auto then make the text sorry we have to place the fancy heading so in the first heading you have to set one structure heading also you can set from the fancy heading at first but i'll suggest you to use that because it will look more beautiful so this is the essential add-ons featured essential add-ons features that is a fancy text widgets so you have to place the widgets under the text now as you can see this is the th three sentence like that this is the prefix and then this is the fancy text strings and then this is suffix text so we have the if we delete the suffix if you don't want to suffix so so the first prefix text will not stable in one place so this is moving around the second string the second string first string and third string that's why i'll suggest you to use the uh, separate heading at first and keep the in auto then make the fancy text so i'm deleting the prefix and now i just wanted to keep these three things i want to keep these three things on low so that's why i keep the code the fancy settings and make it to left and then go to the advanced tab and width will be inline auto now it will move to the up um, with the decreto text and then go to the um, padding and unbind this padding and the left will be giving it to 50 pixel or you can say it 25 25 pixel it's looking good now go to the style tab at to customize and then prefix color will be pure blue color sorry we have to give the color on fancy textiles because we delete the prefix and also give delete the suffix that's why this is the, we have to change the color on the fancy color text so go to the fancy color styles then this is the typography we have to change so make sure that we give the solid color from the solid color we have to choose the color so and that's why giving the type of, um, uh, color like this like theme color and then typography i'm giving it to again this font and then size will be as like we have to give the size um, same to same as the text and then weight also we have to keep the weight like 800 and then transfer will be i'm giving it to uppercase now come to the point that is uh, so i'm keep check i'm checking the width so this is the weight in it and also this 800 now we have to keep someone or above in the margin or we have to down the decrease text so click on this text 
I go to the advanced tab and give some padding. So I'm giving it to top 30 pixel padding. It's too much. So giving 15 pixel. And you can increase or decrease it to as your choice. You can set it as well. So I'm reload now. If I reload this text page, now as you can see that the auto typing effect is working fine with the text, and the text is stable to this. Stick to it. This we can also change the spacing like that. If I'm left, I'm giving it to 15 pixel, so it looks more realistic. Now it is looking so awesome. Now you can change the animation speeds also you can change the type me effect style if i go to the content and fancy text settings now you can you can see this is style if i go to the sorry i'm if i go to the fade up then it will see the fade up in the slide down like that you, you can say so this is a fade down and fade left you can play around with all these features i am giving it to typing effect because i want to do it in typing text typing text that's why I'm choosing typing then if I reload this page so it will working fine now come to the main second point that is Elementor Pro features this is also the Elementor Pro feature you can get in the Elementor Pro that animated typing headline that is if I'm, if I'm writing delete this whole and then if I delete also then now if I click on the icon and then if I update this page and also refresh this page to get update motivate to, to get the uh, update that the elementor pro is now activated so i'm giving the i um, um, activate the elementor pro that's why i'm prefacing this page so let's search for the animated so as you can see the animated headline is now unlocked because i'm um, element activated the elementor pro so we have to place the animated headline here you can place it anywhere so as you can see here is um default by default settled is circle so you have to click on this typing and also you can say it you, ha, you have to set up you can set everything this is the highlighted you can see this is rotating everything we can should do that but you can typing clip flip swirl blinds a wave everything it is wave so it will comes from wave this is a cool feature of the inventor so the now text is stable to us so you can also using the same method from the first that is to stick from the text and then again use the animated headline with this inline auto this is the width so you have to keep the inline auto then it will come to the strict you can do, do that now you can change the style from the sorry you can change his colors typography everything from that style tab so this is the animated text and this is the headline so we have to make the headline like a black color this also black color and then animated text as like before if you want to do then click on this theme color then it will automatically become blue so that's the process how you can add typing text effect using Elementor Pro. Also, you can use it without Elementor Pro. So I'll show you you two process how you can do that. So if this video is helpful for you, then please hit the like button and comment down below how is the video and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this. And if you want to get Elementor Pro, I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out and download it from here. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Thanks for watching.